Hey y'all, and welcome to our first q and I did a poll over on my community page and asked if y'all would like for us to do a Q&A and y'all you know voted. People, you know that people want to see us. They want to ask questions about us. What's wrong with you? Let's go. Just going to interrupt. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. What you were saying now. Go Don't ahead. even worry about it. We about to go on ahead and get into this Q&A. <laughs> Lord have mercy, Jesus. All right, y'all. Um, I got my trusty questions over here um, using my laptop. So the first question comes from Monica Kennedy. And she says, were both you guys in the military? And if so, what branch? Yes, we were. We were both in the Navy. Uh, the next question is from Vaughn's World. Um, were, yeah, we just answered that one. Oh, no, it says how many? Wait a minute. Hold on, y'all. So, he really gonna talk about me like I ain't even sitting here. Really? The audacity. I think she was saying, well, both of y'all in the service or how long were we in the service? Well, anyhow, uh, we just answered and said, yes, we were both in the military, both in the Navy. I did 10 years and got out and... I did 20 and retired. <laughs> Loving it. Yes. It's a joy, y'all. It's a pleasure to get up and be able to do what you want to do and basically control your own life. You that, know what I mean? It's nothing cool. like um, just being free and uh, being in control of your lives. So, yeah, that's just exactly what I wanted to do and where I want to be. So, I see my wife looking at her, so let me shut up. Okay, let's go. Next mm. question. Okay, then. This next it's not even a question, it's a comment, and it's from my mama. What's wrong with her? <laughs> Talking about she already know all the answers. Lady, what's wrong with you? Well, you got to admit she do. I mean, y'all talk like three times a day. That's my dog. Hey, That's my dog. What's wrong with that? So she know everything. That's my dog. All right. I'm going to talk to her. Love you, mom. We gonna, I'm going to talk to you. I'm calling you as soon as I get finished with this Q&A. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, mm -hmm. the next one is from Renee McKnight. Can you please tell me what is the name of your daily Starbucks drink? Absolutely. My, Which one? Right now, well, now I had one, but now I got two of them, girl. I got two of them, girl. Um, the first one was a Trenta, let me lean in close, a Trenta Black Tea Lemonade, 24 pumps of classic. Now, I know y'all may say 24 seems like a lot. Girl, it's not a lot. It's uh, just right. It sounds like it, it's just going to be off the chain sweet, but it's really not. Y'all know Starbucks tea and coffee is real strong. You got to have something to set that off. So once again, it's a Trenta Black Tea Lemonade with 24 pumps of classic. If 24 is too much, go on ahead and adjust it to your palate. There it is. Oh, and the new drink that I have, it is a, it's still a Trenta Black Tea with no lemonade, but I get it with the mango dragon fruit base. No water. Mm-hmm, that part. Trenta black tea with mango dragon fruit base, no water. There it is. Next, um, she's just, let's see here. Next, next, next. This one is from, I hope I pronounced your name right, sweetheart. I think it says Generva Pearson. Um, when you and Mr. Leroy aren't creating content for us, and she says, thank you. You're welcome, girl, it's a pleasure. Um, That's what we do. How do you how do y'all spend your off or downtime? Well, when we doing these vlogs for y'all, this is our off and downtime. Um, my vlog channel does not feel like work to me. This is what we do. We just bring y'all along with it. This is how like going out to eat, spending time with one another, hanging out with with the kids and whatnot. This is what we do. We just so happen to film it. It's, or we wait till the kids go to school, then we pick up the camera that and part. we give it to you, just like it is. That part. If you don't hide or nothing, like that, that's just this, what y'all see. That, that's what, what it you is. get. That's right. Um, yeah, when they be going to school, we get it in. We get mm -hmm. it in. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Because, you know, anyway, they feel like they don't want to hang around us like that know how. So, hey. That's cool. That is. We, we get it. We want to be with your little friends, whatever. And they growing up into their own little selves. It's you know? okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's see, the next question comes from Nicola Keith, and she says, uh, where did you and Mr. Leroy get married? Um, we got married in Georgia. We went to the courthouse and got married in Georgia. Got married in Georgia. We did twice. Wait a minute, you said twice? Mm -hmm. 
You said we got married in Georgia twice, boo boo? Mm -hmm. We got married the first time, then we got remarried again. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. I thought he was saying that we got married in Georgia twice. We did. We went to, um, we got married at the courthouse in Georgia. Mm -hmm. And then um, when we renewed our vows at 10 years, it was, oh, it was in Georgia. What's wrong with me? I don't know. Yeah, it was in Georgia, but so these, we, these we had an that, actual wedding 10 years later. These are things that women don't forget, especially about weddings. You I didn't know? say I forgot the wedding. That's, I just It just dawned on me. It was in Georgia. That's something that a man get asked and was like, hmm, oh, when did we? I, I'm on it. I'm on it, doggone it. Let's go. You like that? I don't like you right now. She loved me, y'all. As long as I love you, that's all that she matters. But I sure don't like you right now. She you like do me too. You never do me like that. She like me too. Anyway. Next, um, hold on, y'all. I'm so sorry. But that car this is not case coming out. the best in the business, boo boo. <laughs> Let's not talk about Mr. Early County. Hey, you um, on the map? Barely. Don't worry about that. I love, oh, she just says, it's not a question. She just says, I love to see you with your family. Um, oh, she said, is Leroy's family fun too? Absolutely. They are a blast. I love his family. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. They are. Down to earth, just like we are. Bunch know, of characters. Just, yes, yeah, I love a it. Bunch of characters. Yep. Um, this question comes from Nikki Carter. She says, "Tiff, what is the best part of living in Florida?" Because she wants to live in Florida. What's not the best part? I mean, on a daily basis, is they call it the Sunshine State for a reason, y'all. It's the sun is 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 bright and glistening down here. But besides that, you have. We're living on the on the uh, on the coast on the Gulf Coast. The water out there is beautiful. Absolutely. I mean, the I weather. can't. <laughs> it's just it's just so much. All of our check boxes have been checked on it because uh, it it satisfies all our needs. And we versus living in Atlanta or wherever the else. Hustle and bustle of Atlanta. Yeah, alone. and then the weather. You get the four seasons in Atlanta. Down here, you probably get <laughs> a. a our winter is really a mild winter. Yes. It's not really, you know, cold, cold. There have been times where it had, has went down into days. the uh, uh, high 20s. You get a little crispy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but for the most part, by 9 o'clock, it's back up to 60. That part. So. There have been, we were, uh, I know about two years in a row, we were Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, we were at the beach. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 73 degrees. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yep. So the weather, the atmosphere. And the then weather. also, you got to, uh, Think about when people think of Florida, they think Florida as a whole. There is a difference between the east side and the west side. We're on the west side. On the west side, it's more family oriented. Not to say that they're not family oriented over here, but that side is more known for the party side. We uh, over here, we're, it's more family oriented. Um, there's always something going on for uh, everybody in the family to do and enjoy. So that's that's one of the reasons, another one of the reasons that we love it down here so well. So yeah, the West Side, we on the West Side. West Side, hmm. anyways. Um, this one says, um, oh my bad, y'all lost it. Okay, this question comes from Stephanie G. How long did you and Mister Leroy know each other before y'all got married? Three years. It was almost. Well, we got married. Um. We met and we went on our first date, September 9th, 2000. And then um, we got married August the 1st, 2003. So we were just a little, like a few days shy of a month. I mean, three years, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> three years, we were almost we three years before dating married. before we got <laughs> We were almost dating three years before we got married. Um, let's see here, y'all. This is from Cynthia Johnson. My question is, are you guys going to ever buy your forever home? If so, I know it will be beautiful and decorated very well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank right. you. Thank you. Absolutely. We yes, are. we do uh, plan on doing that. Um, right now, it's a uh, seller's market. Mm. So uh, <laughs> it's not really conducive to us right now. Mm -hmm. We're trying to wait because you don't want to keep buying and then have to turn around all this not it or whatever we're waiting for that perfect one and the right time so that time ain't hit yet when it hit trust me we're gonna be all over it yep and this one comes from um 
well, this is Adrian from Blessings from the, for the Bar. She has a uh, YouTube channel. How do you and Mr. Leroy handle disagreements? I'm young and married and want to know healthy ways to handle disagreements. Well, communication. You got to talk. You can't be hollering at each other now. I ain't gonna lie, now, me, and, me and Mr. Leroy have been together for a long time and we had our moments. Mm -hmm. We had our moments and you know, you grow and you change and you find better ways to do things. And, and if you do have a disagreement, don't hit below the belt. That's not necessary. Right. It's not necessary. Right. Everybody know where they messed up. We don't need to remind, hey, you did we, all the, the finger pointing. That's not necessary. We ain't gotta do that. Yeah, you, you uh, trust me, marriage is a, is a full-time job. And uh, it's it takes uh, a lot to to to, uh, to maintain, and just like she said, you have to you have to uh, keep in um, consideration the key factors, which is communication. First of all, we're friends. That, we, that was, we was friends before we. And got I really married. like him. Yeah, she 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 all right. Mm. She all right. Nah, for real though, real talk. Uh, for for young married young people who just got married or whatever, or still you know new in the game yeah you 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 i'm a good i like to consider myself as a good listener you got to listen to your spouse um that's that's key key you know uh it's nothing like uh talking to someone and then having to repeat yourself or you know i told you this or whatever did you didn't understand whatever you know just you didn't have your listening ears right on. you got yeah. to have your listening on yeah, ears listening. on when you're married just listen you to, to one another and you know it's not easy but it's not easy but you have to work through it. Uh, remember your vows. Remember your vows. Remember your vows for better, for worse, for richer, for poor. Sickness and health. Sickness and health. Mm -hmm. you, you just can't, just because you have a problem, you just can't turn and say, hey, I'm out. Now, nah, that ain't going to solve nothing because mm -hmm. you give the next person, you're going to have the same problem. So, you know, you got to search yourself first. And if there's a problem, you know, sometimes I go and say, hey, did I do wrong with that? I think I did wrong that. So I'll go back. I'm man enough to say, hey, baby, I'm sorry for what I said or what I did or whatever. Yes, really and, is. you know, I'm man enough to, to admit it because I did it. So, hey, I might as well admit it. You know, but sometimes you get so full of yourself in yourself and you forget about the other person. Don't forget about your spouse. It's important. I don't forget about him, but I am woman enough to say that I have been that woman where I would not own up to what I did. I would not. But I've changed. God is good. Next, Won't he do it? Won't he? Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Uh, let's see here, y'all. Okay, here we go. This comes from Shelby McNeil. She says, how many siblings do you have? I have three. Two sisters and a brother. Um, I have an older sister, and then there's my brother, and then there's me. Y'all know Rachel. <laughs> That's the last one. <laughs> That's her. She's the baby. Um, and for me, this is, yeah, because it says how many siblings does uh, Mr. Newell have? Six of us, uh, it's four girls and two boys. So uh, yeah, and I'm the baby of the bunch. Mm -hmm. So hey, say the best for last. Boy, bye. Don't get <laughs> mad, Betty. That's my <laughs> older sister. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it says, and then Shelby has another question. What did you do for a living after the service? Well, after I got out. Um, I stayed at home for about six months and rested. And then I worked at Verizon for about six months, I think it was. <laughs> and then, yeah, about six months, y'all. And I couldn't take it because Verizon, Verizon was more hectic than the military. It, I, it really was. Customer service? Mm-mm. Couldn't do it. I had to let that go. And then um, after that, I, um, I left Verizon and then I went to school for cosmetology and I did hair for almost... 10 years. Yeah, y'all, your girl is a licensed hairstylist. And might I add, she was good at it. Hey. Very good at it. I was a licensed hairstylist, y'all. Me, um, I started out uh, in Virginia doing um, security at the Army Base, Fort Eustis, if anybody know anything about that, out of Newport News. And uh, I was doing security there as a gate guard, and uh, that, was, that, was, that was a really good job. After she got out in 2007, we ended up moving to Atlanta and I transferred down there to uh, Fort McPherson, uh, which is no longer there, which y'all might know it as Tyler Perry mm -hmm. Studios now. Mm -hmm. uh, I worked there until, you know, it, it went away. So, and uh, after that, I went back to school, uh, got my degree in uh, electronics and networking. So I left there and started working for Comcast. 
and I stayed with Comcast until we left in 2016. I was a supervisor for Comcast. And um, yeah, that's about it. Came here, yeah. got here, and uh, decided I kind of tired of working for people. So this thing called Uber came up, Uber, Lyft, whatever. And hey, I started doing that and I love it. Shelby has another question and she says, how many countries have you traveled to in and out of the service? Um, We've been to a lot of them. <laughs> We've been to a lot. Um, Me more than her. Right. Of course, I've been in longer. So uh, um, yeah, I let her go first, but. But together, the ones I'm getting ready to say, we went together. Um, we've been to Germany, mm -hmm. Poland, Denmark, um, Portugal, Ireland, uh, Amsterdam, Amsterdam, um, Italy, Canada, the Bahamas. We've been to the Azores, mm -hmm. and um, that's where we've been together. Now he's been to Ooh, wow. a lot. <laughs> yeah, I want me to go there for back. Y'all want me to go that far back. <laughs> the lady asked a question. Can you just tell her where you've been? But let's just say I've, I've been uh, all over South America, uh, just about every country in South America. Uh, Europe, I, when I first joined the Navy, my first assignment was Italy. They spoiled me. Went over there for two years, enjoyed it. Got it. While I was there, I got a chance to tour all over Europe. Can he just run down the name of the countries? Nobody asked him about his activities while he was over there. So I've been to Spain, France, um, you name it, I've been there. So uh, yeah, that's about been it. Been a lot of places. Been a lot of places. <sighs> Thank God that was quick. And let's see here, Shelby has another question. Oh, she said, who's your favorite YouTuber? Well. This is my favorite YouTuber. <laughs> Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Not just one. It's actually three of them. Um, Yesenia, she has a vlog channel, Simply Yesenia. Shanti. Mr. John, shout out. <laughs> <laughs> Shanti has a vlog channel, Shanti Life Vlogs. And she has a cleaning channel as well, Shanti's Lifestyle. And my girl, Cleosha. Cleosha oh, J she. for her cleaning channel and her, um, her vlog channel, Hanging with the Jeffersons. Y'all should check them all out. But um very funny. <laughs> they are. I, I love I love all three of those ladies. They yeah. are beautiful inside and out. I've leaned on them a lot since I started doing YouTube. Um I can go to them when I'm frustrated about something. Um I can just talk to them a period, you know, about if something, you know, YouTube or just everyday life, anything. Um, they just help me out. You know, they are some awesome ladies. I love y'all. Y'all the best. So those are my three my three favorites. I mean that's it in a nutshell. Those are my dogs. That they, they help me out. They help your girl and they put me in the right direction. So um there it is. Next question. Um, let's see. Oh, Shelby got one more question. What's your favorite foods to eat? Now y'all know I like to chew. Uh and did you want more or less than two kids? Um, Shelby, I really don't have a favorite food. I just like to chew. I don't like for my stomach to be on my back, girlfriend. Mm-mm. That is the best way. For me to be laid out somewhere because y'all know I get weak when I don't eat. I had to make sure I ate before I came over here and did this QA. Um, I, I had just finished chewing. I'm eyeballing my drink over here right now because I'm finna have to get up and go get it because I'm I'm, I'm, thir I'm, um, I'm thirsty. Anyway, um, did you want more or less than two kids? Well, Shelby, I only well at first I didn't want any kids. I didn't want not a single solitary one. And about I wanted a son, so I already have two girls, uh, two older girls from our previous marriage. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I just wanted a son. You know, every man wants a son, uh, you know. Well, I'm gonna put it like this. I only wanted one child, just one. And, and when I did start wanting them, I just wanted one. And along came Chris. Um, we were so grateful to have him. I was so glad he was a boy. Really and truly at the point, I didn't care if he was a girl or a boy, I didn't want no more. Mm -hmm. And then the Lord saw fit to send us Miss Cameron. And that's a tough customer. She is here. That's I my girl. You, we I love her though. That is the, when I tell you that child is so full of life. Personality out as well. Oh my God. Um, Chris is his mama through in, in and out, through and through. Cameron is a social butterfly, just like uh Mr. Leroy here. And Chris is not a people person. And I know y'all probably thinking like, Tiff, girl, you're not a people person. Mm-mm. -mm. And it's hard to believe that I did have, and I'm not a people person. Child, I, mm -hmm. anyway, but I love y'all. I really do. I'm, I'm God is, is slowly 
transforming me into the person y'all see before you. I'm Work in progress. He's, wor he's working on me. Aren't we all, though? Amen, amen. Won't he do it? Um, so, yeah, I didn't want any. After, uh, I didn't want any at first, and then I started wanting one, had Chris, and then along came Cameron, and that was a wrap. Cameron was enough. I mean, Chris and Cameron was enough. Two is enough. Boy and girl, I didn't care if it was two boys, two girls. Two was good. Um, and that was it for Miss Shelby. And then let's see here. And this question is from Don Marie. Don, baby, I can't pronounce you. I think, is it Chico? Don Marie Chico? Yes, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm sorry if I mispronounced it, but um, she says, how long have you guys been together? Ever. <laughs> right, ever. Ever. Um, ever. We've been together 21 years, y'all. 21 years. Don't we look good? <laughs> hmm. So this question is from Tanya Thomas, and she wants to know who's the oldest, Chris or Cameron? That would be Mr. Chris. Chris will be 16, um... In December, and Cameron Ooh, will be. Oh, you know. He is, and Cameron will be 15 in March. Mm -hmm. Oh, and this one is from Elect. Oh, Elect Lady Sharice Williams George. Her question is: Can Mr. Leroy cook? And if so, will he do a video? <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Williams, uh, George. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to butcher your name. But yes, Mr. Leroy can burn. When we first he got really together, uh, I was doing all the cooking. He was. And, uh, I was, I'm a, a short little story about me. I was raised on the farm, so uh, cooking was a was a necessity. You had to learn. Uh, so uh, my mama taught me everything. She taught me how to cook, course clean, sew. Do uh, have? Do have. I can do have, yeah. I can do <laughs> have too. So, you know, it, it called me a jack of all trades. There ain't too much I can't do. I can go outside, work on cars, whatever. So, yeah, yeah, I can cook. And as far as giving you a, a video, it'll probably happen. Yeah, it'll Mr. Lee working. I don't know why he act like he don't know what the stove look like. He act like he can't work his way around the stove. Well, you know, I start having flashbacks. Of flashbacks of what? When we first right. got together. Because y'all, let me tell you, I would come home from work. When I was in the military, I worked 12-hour shifts. Mr. Leroy got off before I did. I would come home, y'all, and all I would have to do is take a shower and then sit down and chew. Now, child, by you coming out, you smell nothing but the air. <laughs> nothing but air freshener. That's it. That's all you smell. You don't smell nothing burning. Smell if it's burning, it's because I'm in here cooking. <laughs> smell good. Child, bye. Anyway, <laughs> what's wrong with him? Uh, let's see here. Uh, this comes from Capable Wife Gardens. She says, um, she said, yes, a Q&A would be great. And then she said, I would also like to see you do, um, I guess, like a live talk show and you know, she said, we've seen you clean. Why not break down those videos like Oprah? Okay. She said, tell your thought process live and have Mr. Leroy give his input and put your kids, oh, and let your kids share how they feel about being organized. This would be, this would help a lot of people. Let me know what y'all think about this idea. Um, girlfriend, my kids ain't organized. <laughs> they are not organized. Cameron? Mm -hmm. I, I'm constantly staying on top of her about her room. Cameron is, mm -mm, they're not organized. Um, Chris, he's, you know, his room is always neat and tidy, but he's also, he's very particular about the way he keeps things as in the dust in his room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's very particular about the dust that's in there because, um, you know, his room would be, everything would be in this place and it'd be nice and tidy, but homeboy ain't dusting nothing. That's why I was up in here working like a rent mule last weekend trying to get this stuff up out of here. That's why the boy was in here sneezing like he had good sense. Anyway, mm -hmm. yeah, my kids ain't, uh, they not organized, y'all. They, mm -hmm. they, it's like, they are the exact opposite of me. I don't know. Anyway, but yeah, um, that's something to look into. That's something to think about, you know, um, we'll have to think about it. Look into that. And for how I think about it, um, uh, I love it. I mean, uh, I think, Neatness and cleanliness. Cleanliness is next to godliness. That so, part. Oh, uh, hey. Amen. Yeah, I mean, I don't, my thought process behind when I'm cleaning is just getting it done. Um, I don't, I'm, I'm just, with, when I'm cleaning, I'm focused. And if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it right. I don't have, I ain't going to have to do it now. Mm -hmm. I was raised that if you're going to do it, mm -hmm. do it right the first time. So we ain't got to be going back over this. We live on the maintenance rule around here. I mean, the maintenance system. We, you know, we don't let it get too far because, hey, let me tell you what I ain't got time for. Y'all already know. I ain't nobody got time for all that uh extra um 
cleaning and whatnot, and it's taking you four. And it already takes us forever to film it. Can you imagine? Mm -mm, no, thank you. So we live on the maintenance system around here. Um, moving right along, right along, right along. Brandy Strong, she says, um, how do you and Mr. Leroy handle the finances as a married couple? Well, Mr. Leroy go out and work and mm -hmm. I go out and spend it. No, I'm just playing. That's not <laughs> that it. <part. laughs> that ain't it. <laughs> no. Um, we have a, um, we got a, a, a account uh, that we pay our bills out of. And then we have a joint account together where we spend money out of. And then we both have our own separate accounts. That's how we handle it. I've always told my wife that uh, she don't have to work. That part. That's I feel. That's how I was raised, you know. So uh, my when we was coming up, my dad he went out. We went out in the fields or whatever. I'm, we was a farmer, so we went out and did our thing. My, my mom stayed home, make sure we had meals and all that stuff. And you know, that's a <laughs> that's a yeah, you just saying that, but that's a lot of work. Back up a little bit. What, 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 what? You, you say your mom made sure y'all had meals. She cooked. Yeah, you know. Oh, uh, you, know, you know, yeah. the cycle. I, I cook every now and then. You know, I, I feel. But uh, yeah, that's just. She does. She she's doing this because this is a passion of hers. Tiffany likes to clean. She's clean anyway. That was one of the things that attracted me to her because she's very clean. I like a clean woman. Uh, so yeah, why not do something professionally that you like? And that's what she's doing. This says, how did you and Mr. Leroy meet, and how long did y'all date before getting married? Um, I think we answered the how did y'all how long did y'all date? We were dating three years before we got married. Um, how did you and Mr. Leroy meet? The military, of course. We I saw him first. Um, I think I saw, yeah, I saw him first. And it's ironic, y'all, because we both checked in at the same at the command on the same day and did not know that. But um, yeah, I noticed him first. And um I approached him first. Well, I take that back. I sent somebody to get you never sent a child to do a woman's job, you know, trying to be discreet and find out some things about him. And the girl came back with all the wrong information. Child by I said, move over and let me let me handle this. I should have done it in the first place. But yes, that's how we met in the military. We were stationed at the same command long, long, long time ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, next. And that when we were in Virginia, as if, if y'all want to know where. We were stationed in Norfolk. Uh, let's see here. Wow. This is awesome. Um, this is from Why Wait. She says, your vlogs really helped me through depression. Oh, my goodness. That is awesome. Uh, I can definitely relate to depression because I went through two years of depression. So I know what you're going through. And I'm so glad that God can bless me to be a blessing to you. Um, and so glad that you're feeling better because I, I, I know what kind of situation that is. That's that's not a good place to be in. So mm -hmm. I'm glad God is bringing you out. That's uh, God is good. Um, but her question is, have you and Mr. Leroy ever dealt with infidelity in your relationship? Absolutely not. No, ma'am. Mm -mm. Y'all see how beautiful she is? Why would I need to do well, it? you know I do it. I can. Y'all saw that side of I gave. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you, <babe. laughs> Anyway. Anyway, but nah, nah. Um, that's nah, not, we, mm -mm. we don't, we don't do that. Mm -mm. Not here. And her second question is, oh, what would be a deal breaker that will end your marriage? What you just asked about infidelity, <laughs> that right there. Because if, if it gets to a point where I'm not enough for you, then yeah, what we doing? Mm -mm. We we need to go ahead and get apart. Uh, I think that would be a deal breaker for me because it's like we've been through so much in our marriage. Um, and that right there, I think would that would do it for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> I, I takes. <sighs> I take my my you know my vows or whatever seriously. So, mm -hmm. uh, pretty much like she said, and it also probably depends on the situation. So I'm a little bit more lenient because I do believe in for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, for whatever. You know, fight for fight for your uh, for your mate, fight for your marriage. Uh, something going on, you got to talk about it. You got to talk your way through it. Yeah. Uh, I would have to, you know, after I've exalted everything in me to try to maintain or keep this marriage, then yeah, that would be your deal breaker for me if, it, if I'm not getting the feedback or what I want from the other side. Oh, so you really, you, you, you put me in work. I mean, I'm putting me in work, yeah, but I'm putting work um, the infidelity thing, yeah, I, I don't know. I invested too much. Right, like, I don't. Too much. Mm. 
too much. Baby, you got to keep putting the emphasis on the two like that. I'm What's just saying. I'm just saying. What's wrong with it? Because um, like mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Like I said, y'all, the infidelity. I mean, yeah, like he said, depending on what the situation is. At this point right now, because I don't plan on being in that situation, um, I'm just going to have to say infidelity for me would be a deal breaker. Next. Um, how do you keep your marriage alive? That's from Peggy Baldwin. You got to have, you can't be uptight. We friends. We friends. So that's, that was basics, right? That's the foundation right there. We're friends. So if you're friends, you're able to talk about anything, no matter what it is. Uh, there's nothing out there that uh, we can't share with one another. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> we laugh. We laugh. Kiki and Kai Kai all joke that. with each other all day. Yep. We are like we were friends first and we keep the friendship going in our marriage. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we people, a lot of people say date nights and all of that. Really and truly, Mr. Libra don't have to take me nowhere. It's just wherever he is, I just want to I just want to be right there with him. We ain't got to go nowhere. You know. <laughs> we don't have to go anywhere. It's the you little know. things. With you know, you know. You know. I'm going at that part. All the time. <laughs> what happened to you people? Lord. Anyhow, <laughs> like I said, wherever he is, I just want to be right there with him. We don't have to be going nowhere doing that. We, if we just sitting here on the couch watching TV. Matter of fact, we could just be in the house together. He could be out here watching TV. And I may be in the bedroom watching TV and just him being around me is enough for me. We ain't got to go nowhere and do nothing, but that's because I enjoy being around him. I like him first. We are friends first, and then everything else uh, falls in line. I like you, baby. Thank you. I like you, too. <laughs> Let's see. I uh, really do. What? Okay. What made you decide? This is from, I'm sorry, Tina Sutton. What made you decide to do YouTube and how did your family feel about you doing videos in the beginning? Well, um, I always wanted to, I'm not going to say always, around about 2014, not 2014, 13, I think it was, 13 or 14, I wanted, I used to, I started watching YouTube. Um, no, it wasn't, y'all. My bad. 2012 is when I started watching YouTube mm -hmm. because there was a lady on there. Well, she's still on here and I still watch her to this day. Her name is Catherine from Do It On A Dime. I used to watch her do all of these Dollar Tree videos. And um, back then I was big into Dollar Tree. Like I was always in Dollar Tree and she was doing these videos. So that's what attracted me to her. And then I started seeing cleaning videos on YouTube. And I said, hmm, I can do that. And I wanted to do it, but I was, uh, I'm really a private person. And I just wasn't, didn't really want to be on camera like that, but wanted to do it, but didn't want to do it. And the more I watched it, the more I wanted to do it. So, hey. I asked God to, you know, give me the courage to do it because, you know, um, it, it takes some bravery to be on YouTube. It, it really does. It, you got to be brave to be on YouTube. And um, anybody that's out here doing it, I applaud y'all because it takes a lot, you know. So um, I, I saw them cleaning and I'm like, hey, I can do that. So I went, I went to him and told him I wanted to do it. And he backs me and supports me on no matter what it is that I want to do. He's supporting me. Fully, 100%. Now, on that, uh, when she first came to me, oh, um, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little skeptical about it, you know, but, you know, like I said, I'm a, I'm a supporter. But uh, uh, my thing was, I couldn't vision seeing, knowing the type of person that she was prior to YouTube, I couldn't vision her just out front of just talking to everybody. You know, these are thousands, sometimes more than thousand people is watching this, you know. Uh, so I just couldn't picture her being that comfortable in front of the camera. But uh, look at her now. Won't, won't, am, it, won't he do it? Won't it? I am won't so he do it? comfortable on this this camera. Yeah. And of course, you know that's you got to find yourself when you first get on YouTube. And you got to be comfortable with yourself. And you can see you can see the the uh, transition uh, and the progress from her first videos all the way up to now. Mm -hmm. You can see how the progress have, and she's gotten to be really really good at it. And of course, y'all think so too. I so it's just not, it's just not my, it's just not my opinion, but you guys do too, and we appreciate y'all. Really, we love y'all. We, we do. really do. Yeah. Says, who is it from? Oh, I'm sorry, Dora Giles. I think I pronounced that right. Dora Giles. Dora asked, "How did you and Mr. Leroy meet?" I just told y'all that in the, in the Navy on the mm -hmm. boat. Um, how long have you and Mr. Leroy been married? We've been married 18 years. 32. Boy, bye. <laughs> And, it, and she says, I really love your family. Thank you. We love y'all too. Yeah. Um, 
This one comes from my girl, Lady Shan. <laughs> <laughs> she says, uh, what type of work does Leroy do and how old is he? I drive Uber, uh, Lyft or whatever. And I also do um, uh, DoorDash and all type of stuff like that, food deliveries or whatever. And I am 56 years old. Don't I look good, y'all? <laughs> Don't I look good? <laughs> ain't nothing like paying yourself on that. Ain't ain't. Nah, you look two, good. Two. You look good, baby. Um, yeah, you also do UPS, baby. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I, <laughs> he do everything, y'all. He, he always doing something. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I just can't see still. I'm sorry. He always doing something. Got to keep the blood flowing, you know. This is from Be Relentless. She says, how much would it take for you to give up Starbucks for a year? Girl, how much you got? How much you got? Uh, no, I'm just joking, but we for real. Now. Yeah, <laughs> y'all. You Look, let me tell y'all something. I am not addicted to Starbucks. I gave Starbucks up. I stopped going to Starbucks for like two years. So it's just something that I like to do. I ain't got to go. Some days that's the only thing I may do. I may go to Starbucks and come back and just be in this house. Um, yeah, I don't have to go to Starbucks, but it's just something I like to do. And bam, there it is. Um, what's your favorite season? Care for you. Spring and summer. Y'all can miss me with the fall and the winter. I am a very cold nature person and I can't take it. Mm -mm. All them different layers you got to put on just to run to the store. I can't. No. Mm -mm. Just flip flaps. But but know this now. Just know this. If it's, um, I said, I used to say 50 degrees and up. If it's 45 and up, oh, if it's 40, when or something. If it's 45 and up, I'm wearing my flip flaps. Yeah? I'm putting on flip flaps. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Flipping. I'm flipping and flapping everywhere. Uh, Y'all, she says, obvious one, everyone probably wants to know. How you two met, I just told y'all. Um, how did Mr. Leroy feel when you first started on YouTube? We just answered that one too. And uh, how did you land in Navarre, Florida? I think we answered it. Did we answer that? No, uh, we, didn't. no we didn't. We, we ended up in Florida for one because um, I have, um, some of y'all may not know, but I have MS. And um, the weather here is good for my for my MS because Georgia, especially in the wintertime, suffering. Yeah, um, minus the hurricanes, y'all. It's a beautiful it place. It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah when mean, it's hurricane yeah. season, child, bye. Yeah. Oh, and she says, and would you want to move to a different area? Nah. This is it. Nah, this is it. Yeah. Um, what advice would you and Mr. Leroy give to keep love and friendship lasting in their relationship to help it last for years? I think we just kind of answered that. Mm -hmm. Being friends, communication, um, all of that. Just... Oh, and the first thing is keeping God at the center and ahead of your life and your that marriage. Part. You that got part. to keep God first. You, you got to keep God first because without Him, it, it wouldn't work. Mm -hmm. You got to can you got to lean on Him. That's right. Anything else will be uncivilized. That's right. Uh, next, let's see here. And uh, this is me, B. She said, um, "Do you send Mr. Leroy to the store with a grocery list?" <laughs> Well, only when she's cooking something special right. that I don't know about, you know. Uh, but for the most part, I got a built-in grocery list in my head. Uh, I know exactly what we need, when we need it. And since I'm out and about all the time, um, always at Walmart. So, because I pick up deliveries for people from Walmart. So, uh, when I'm not, I slide on in Walmart, grab a couple of items here, whatever, whatever. And then, um, hey, that's how we do it. So, yeah, because I, your girl, yeah, girl I, I don't this. like going to the grocery store. When I go on Walmart, I stay over here. I don't mm -hmm. I don't go on to the grocery side. Um, and for one, it's cold over there. And then she said, uh, would you ever color your hair? Uh, I've been there, done that. When my hair was long, I didn't, I didn't have colors. I've done that. Um, at this point... I love my gray hair. I wish I had more. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm embracing it, y'all. Um, you know, getting gray hair and all of that, I feel like that's a part of getting older. And in my opinion, in, in my opinion, getting older is a blessing. So, um, yeah, I'm not, I, I'm okay with the gray. Um, I was getting ready to say something else in uh, reference to the hair, but I forgot. Oh, because I get my hair cut every week, so I feel like coloring it would just kind of be a waste of money. So yeah, I'm good with the gray. I'm a, I'm all right. I'm, I'm good. Oh, and then she said, uh, Mr. Leroy, how do you really feel about Tiff Starbucks addiction? <laughs> well, first of all, it's not an addiction. Yeah, She's not addicted mm -hmm. to it. It's just something all. that it's an outlet, y'all. That she, uh, I feel that's uh, that's uh, just allows her to get out and do something besides being in the house all day, working on YouTube, getting these videos ready for y'all. So. 
she deserved that. You know what I mean? So I don't, I, I don't consider the addiction. She's not addicted because uh, she's proven that to me over. Because I asked her to stop a few years ago, and she did it. She did it for two years. So yeah, she's not addicted. But uh, yeah, to me, that's just a, that's a, uh, I, that's a treat for me. <laughs> okay, because I'm the one to supply that for her to go to uh, Starbucks every day. Um, I, I don't know if on a couple of videos y'all y'all heard me say this woman wake up and ask me for don't for, do me I don't, don't do me like that baby I do not as soon as I roll over baby you got you got that was a joke that was a joke uh -uh. but anyway but nah, girl, nah, it, girl, it is not nah, girl. it's, it's not, not it's not a dish sweetheart yeah. I just it's something I like to do and I'm okay with it so. yeah. Um, and plus you know they're my people that's my family I, everybody in Georgia knew me just like they know me down here y'all yeah. everybody up matter of fact soon we speak now that we speaking about that. I was uh, doing a delivery last night in uh, another part of uh, where we live at, and this guy come by on a motorcycle. <laughs> One of the guys that uh, makes her drinks for her, and uh, it's Monty. <laughs> he was like, hey, hey, Mr. Leroy. <laughs> I'm like, who is this guy? I mean, I looked over, and it was him. So, yeah, yeah she's popular me. up there, and, and no matter where she goes, they know her. So, they know right? me, yeah. Um, This is from May May. Girl, what's going on? It says, how long have you and Mr. Leroy been retired? And whose decision to make the military, who, and I guess whose decision was it to make military, uh, make the military a lifetime? I guess be in there for a lifetime. Um, well, I, I didn't retire. I got out um, after 10 years. I joined in 97 and I got out in 2007. Um, Mr. Leroy retired in. When I met her, I was already, what? When I met you, you had already been in for 12 years. Yeah, 12 yeah, so. years. So here's the thing about the military. If you do over 10, well, by the time you reach your 10th year, you should have already made your decision of whether you're going to make it to the career or you're going to go ahead and get out, got your life set up for you when you get out. But if, uh, for me, uh, I was at 12 years and then it wasn't no stopping me. So, hey, I was uh, at eight years ago for retirement and that's what I was looking forward to and that's what I did. That's what, hey, God is good. I'm sorry. It comes from Ardelia Woodbury. She says, my question is for Mr. Leroy. Did you ever find out if your girl had a tapeworm? <laughs> <laughs> We still checking on that. Yeah. Look, yeah, it seems like I eat all the time, but I really don't. Um, when I get on here, most of the time when I start these vlogs, it's in the morning time and it's time for me to chew. I got to chew. Anything else will be uncivilized. Um, so if I have not chewed by 11, 30, 12 o'clock in the morning, oh, I'm going to be weak. I'm going to be weak and it's going to be hard for me to get these words out for y'all. Whoo, child, I got to chew. I got to chew before 10, 30 in the morning I got to chew. Mm. Anyway, but to answer your question, I don't think I got to take one. I don't think, I don't know, I might need to check. But I do be hungry all the time, though, now. I, I, now I do be hungry. Uh, but I just don't eat all the time, but I be hungry. I drink something. Um, this is from Steve and Tanya. It, this, let's see, their first question is, have you and Mr. Leroy always been a follower of Jesus since the day you met? Absolutely. That was our foundation. That was instilled in us when, when uh, you know, growing up. Our, our mothers wouldn't have it any other way. Yep. Um, and then she says, and if I could get a second one in, would you like your kids to follow your footsteps and enlist in the military? Nope. Uh, I wouldn't. It has to be a decision of theirs on what they want to do. Like for it, but it wouldn't be nothing head. that I would actually, you know, you know, suggest or recommend. But, you know, if this is in a... The full of them get in a situation where they need to, you know, they just don't know they want advice or they want, they're thinking about it. I would, you know, I would give them, a, you know, what they're looking for. But as far as me pushing them to, no. Yeah, it's not the same. I wouldn't. Um, now, if they told me they wanted to go, I wouldn't turn them around. I no, wouldn't say I wouldn't, don't. No, no, I wouldn't talk no. about it because when I told my mama that I wanted to go, she didn't talk me out of it. Mm. Even though she didn't want me to, she did. She never told me until after I signed on the dotted line. What's wrong with you, lady? My mama didn't want me to go, period. Mm -mm, they wasn't feeling that. She don't. Mm, my my mama, mama don't feel, hunts. she's not feeling all that water. She wasn't feeling all that water, so it was like, hey, no. <laughs> they teach you how to swim, though. Uh, yeah. This is, oh, I'm sorry, did I get, I'm sorry, did I answer? Oh, yes, I did I answer all the questions. Okay, Tracy, not Stacy. Her first question is, what made you start a YouTube channel? I think I answered that already. Um, then it says, what are your favorite family activities? Um, just being with each other. Uh, we don't have to be doing anything. 
just the fact that we we could be sitting around just talking um with one another and just spending time together is my favorite thing to do um it doesn't matter what we're doing whether we going to grab something to eat or out hanging out shopping or bowling whatever we're doing yeah, I, I just love it all just spending time, time with each other families are big, big with us so yeah it's just spending time with one another fellowshipping and you know yeah. loving on one another uh this our third question is if you go anywhere in the world and stay for six months to a year where would you go and why um we are already here yeah this is it <laughs> we, we already here. here this is it we, we I, pretty much i've been all over the world mm -hmm. and um there is no place that i've been that i think i would want to stay six months away from here mm -hmm. I'm, I'm good right here um does mr leroy always go with your flow does he ever complain he he's not a complainer he's very easy going but he doesn't um i'm sorry this, this question is from um caroline jones He's not a complainer, and yeah, he pretty much does go with the flow, but you're going to be able to tell when he, uh, he'll let you know if, if, it, if, if it's something that he don't want to do, but he's not a complainer. He's just real calm and, and whatnot. That's, that's, that's Mr. Leroy. That's how he is. That's, that's, how, that's his way. Yeah, I'm easy going, but you know, there's a few things that I don't like, and she knows it. Yeah, but, he's, but he ain't going to complain about it. He ain't going to harp on it. I ain't complain about it, but you know, mm -hmm. you know. And this question is from my girl, Yesenia. <laughs> Yesenia said, what is your favorite characteristic about each other? Um, mine would have to be, um, his, I just said it, his patience, um, how calm he is. Y'all know Job from the Bible? Yeah, Mr. Leroy, I think he done surpassed, he done surpassed Job in the patience department because I feel like it's just not that normal to be that calm and patient because y'all know I'll be on 10 sometimes. Like, he keeps me calm because I'll be ready to, I, look, I go from zero to 60 in less than a second, mm -hmm. um, depending mm -hmm. on what the situation Zero is. Zero to a thousand, baby. You never put me out there like I'm that. I'm just saying. You anyway. Can, you, you can get there. But also, too. For me, it's not that serious. I mean, life is, here's my thing. Here's my outlook on life. If God spared you to wake up that morning, if he breathed on you and touched you, uh, you already win. That part. So when I wake up, <laughs> and I see the ceiling every morning. Hey, <laughs> I'm I'm just like this. He is y'all. That's how like he this. is. That's how he is. I wake up. I'm ready to talk. I'm ready to do everything. I'm he ready is. to do it. I see. Hey, the world is the sky's a limit. Yeah, when he wake up because he spared your life for one more day. Me on the other hand, I'll be glad to be woke, but it just take my brain a minute to start churning. Like I'm so glad. I'm so grateful that he woke me up and allowed me to see another day. But Mr. Lee will wake up and he be. Like, yeah, ready to go. Because you got to think about it. Tomorrow is not promised to you. It's not. So you got to enjoy and live life to the fullest. And, hey, I'm just happy. To, I like just, I like going outside. I like the outdoors. I like being outside. I like doing anything. I like working with my hands. Um, just being outside, hearing the birds chirp. Just enjoying it. I take it in. I take all of it in. Baby, this video getting long. I'm sorry, it's but the people want to know, so I'm going to tell them. We, we, they, we, we, uh, we, 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 we ain't short. I ain't going to short them now. Lord but Jesus. Just, just, just slow down. I just, just slow down. Smell the roses. Uh, whatever it is that you smell, smell it. Enjoy life. <laughs> whatever it is that you smell, <laughs> yeah. smell. Smell it and enjoy life. Okay, you know, then. Because, like I said, tomorrow's not promised to you. Oh, and, and I wasn't finished answering my question. Okay. And the Sorry. other one was his dedication to our family. Um, that's another thing that I love about him, uh, the way he takes care of us. And um, this is patience. What I'm about to say is patience on a whole nother level. The, how, how patient he is with me. Because, yeah, yeah, I can be a lot sometimes. And I know this. I know. We're going to go on to the next question. <laughs> but, well, you got to answer yours. What is your favorite characteristic about me? And I mean, I'm, I wasn't finished. I'm sorry. Just, I just love him. <laughs> That's it. I love it. I, I love him. I love him too, <laughs> Like, I love, it, yeah, I love him, you know? Now it's my time. I uh, no, I'm asking you. Is it my yes, time to answer the question? Yes, and the question was, yes, what is my favorite pie. characteristics about you? Yes. Everything. Yesenia yes, wants to know. Everything, Yesenia. <laughs> really? Yeah. Everything. I love the way she smiles. She, man, sometimes I just wake up in the night and I just turn over and look at her. And how beautiful she looking when she while she's sleeping. How somebody can look that beautiful while they're sleeping? I mean, lip gloss is popping. 
I mean, whew. you know they say the Lord works Ooh. in mysterious ways. Turn the fan on, y'all. I'm getting hot up in here. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> no, but anyway. seriously, though, I love everything about her. Her uh, uh, Tiffany, Tiffany is a, is a joy to live with. I love. Oh, her. <laughs> she, she, I mean, I mean, I couldn't have picked the perfect mate. Well, she picked me, Terry. You know, I did. I approached you. I said I do. I yeah. <laughs> Boy, say I do. Anyway. <laughs> Next, um, what three secrets, what are uh, three secrets for your long-lasting relationship? Well, um, I think I told y'all before, first of all, you got to keep God uh, first. Um, that is not a secret. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Just... <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, communication. Yep. Um, being friends. And just, you know, being there for one another. Being able to lean on each other. Um, it... it I, that's, that works for us. You know, um, I don't know what to say that works for us. Being friends, I mean, keeping God first, being friends, and communicating, you know, mm -hmm. talking about things, talking out, you know, talk yeah. things out. Ask them what's wrong with them. Why are you looking like that? <laughs> <laughs> fix your face. Just how she, no, I do fix your face. How, I do what's wrong with you, Miss That's how she do. I said, baby, what's wrong with you? Why are you looking like that? <laughs> um, let's see this. Um, does Mr. Lee ever complain about how you decorated a room or does he have input on your decorating ideas? He never complains about it. He, Mr. Mr. Lee like everything I do and asking him how something looks. Y'all, it's like pulling teeth because I'm like, baby, do you like this? But I don't know. Like, that's not my well, thing. Like, I don't because, know. It's because, you know, like, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of guys out there can feel me. I mean, I'm not that decorative guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's why I married her. <laughs> she put it together. Me? Ah, oh, no, no. But it looks good, though, when she does it. I don't know. A lot of people have complimented on Tiff. Like, it's like everything she touched. To me, that's how I feel. Everything that this woman touched, just like, it just turns into gold. And I, I'm not just saying that just because it's my wife. But I'm saying it because it's, re it's really because she puts 110% in everything she do. And she don't stop until it's perfect. Sometimes it's annoying. It is. Even for myself, it's annoying. The first time to me is perfect, but right. she just, it's not right. If it's not right for her, she, it ain't right. So, yeah, yeah, it's annoying for me. Sometimes anyway. I, it can get on my nerves. I get on my own nerves sometimes. But um, no, even when the room was peach, and what, I mean, not peach, uh, uh, blush color. It was like pink and whatever at the other house. He ain't complaining about that. Curtains and everything was blush. I laid my head down on like and closed my eyes. I can't see it. Sheets was pink and everything. And he liked it. He didn't care. Right. Nah, you don't complain, y'all. Um, let me see. He says, first of all, I love the connection you and your family have. Thank you. What a blessing it is. It is such a blessing. Truly. She said, my question is, how did the both of you retire so early? Y'all are so young. Well, you got one half of the y'all, right? Who's young? I'm young. Um, mm -hmm. Wow. You got one half of the, the young, right? No, I'm just jiving. Mm. Um, yeah, well, um, I'm 45. Um, Mr. Leroy, he already told y'all he's 56 and whatnot. And um, we, I, I didn't retire. He did. He did 20 and got out. So mm. we, that's that's it. Um, oh, I'm sorry. And that question, I keep not forgetting to say that. That question is from Married Life 20. This question is from Brandy Strong. And she says, how do you and Mr. Leroy keep the spark going after so many years of marriage? I think we just, we answered that laughing with one well, another. Well, this is just something that. else came to my mind. Mm. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, which I think is key also. Now, just, you, <laughs> you have to remember this, especially uh, people who've been in the game for a while. Sometimes we get complacent and we forget uh, when you first met that lady or you first met that man, uh, the love of your life, you just... Sometimes you have to reflect back, and that's what I do a lot. I reflect back on the beginning. What you do to get them? Yeah. What did you do to yeah. get them? That's what he's saying. And what the did same you do thing to get you them? did to get them, you got to keep doing it. Mm -hmm. if, and if not, elevate your game. You know what I mean? So that's what I do. That's what I do. I reflect on when I first met her, and I don't never let that go. And that keep that spark just woo, burning. Woo. Turn the fan on, y'all. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> well, y'all, that was it. I appreciate y'all um, really putting your comments down there. Yeah. I appreciate y'all supporting us the way you do, yeah. um, watching us every week and whatnot. And um, y'all already know what I'm about to say. <laughs> like always, all good things come to an end. 
Y'all make sure you subscribe with your bells turned on because there's always more to come. And I think that's all I need to say to y'all. Yeah, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. You went on cute that time. <laughs> Anyways, all right now. Y'all be blessed. Thanks for watching. And I'll see y'all in the next one. I can't keep up with your moves.